Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a user account in Microsoft Intune and then assign the user an Intune license. To manage devices using Intune, we first need to create users who will utilize these credentials to connect to Microsoft Intune. We can create users in Microsoft 365 Admin Center, Azure Active Directory Admin Center or in Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We can also synchronize users from our on-premises Active Directory using Azure AD Connect tool. But in this video, we will use Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center to create user account and assign Intune license to that user account. First, we need to access and log into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https colon double slash endpoint.microsoft.com. On homepage, click on Users. We will be on All Users page. Here we can see the list of all the existing users. Click on New User plus icon. We will have two options here. Select Create New User option. Username is the login name which user used to sign in. So enter the username for our user account uh, which is going to be user1 in our case. And based on the domain name, the user's login name is going to be user1 at msapsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Whatever name you will provide, it will check and let you know if the username is available or not. If you have added custom domain name to your Azure Active Directory, that you can select it from here. But in our case, we have only one domain name which is msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com domain. In the name field, enter the user's given name. First name and last name is optional. But I'm going to specify first name, taste. And then let's specify the user1. The user's password can be auto-generated or we can choose our own. At first sign-in, user need to change the password so he or she can set up his or her own password. We will specify our own standard password. Select second radio button and specify the password. We can add the user to one or more existing groups. Since we haven't created any group in our Azure Active Directory yet, we don't have any existing group to add this user as a member in it. We can also add the user to groups at a later time. If Azure AD administrative permissions required for the user, we can add them to directory role. We can assign the user to be an Intune administrator. Confirm that the user role is selected as user's permission role. Under settings, specify the user's usage location. In my case, it is going to be India. Let me select India. You can add more information about the user like user's job title, department, company name and location. Or you can do it later on. I'm not going to specify any job information. Simply, I'm going to hit create to create new user account in Microsoft Intune. We can see the confirmation message successfully created user name test user 1. Uh, let me refresh the page so we can see the updated list of our all users. As you can see, we have successfully created a user taste user 1. After we have created a user, we must assign an Intune license to the user. If we don't assign the user a license, they'll be unable to enroll their devices into Intune. Click on the user we just created. In our case, it is test user 1. Let me click on it. Under Manage, click on Licenses. Click on Assignments. Now we can see the message No license assignments found for this user test user 1. Click on Assignments. 
select the enterprise mobility plus security e5 checkbox in the license section you can select or remove license options as per your organization's license subscription and requirement since we are using trial account of enterprise mobility plus security e5 license i'm going to assign all those features select save to save the changes we got the confirmation message license assignments succeeded let me close the page click on refresh let me click on refresh again we can see the enterprise mobility plus security e5 license assigned to the user and state is active now this user one can enroll his devices into microsoft to intune so that concludes the video on how to create a user account in microsoft intune and then assign the user an intune license thank you all for watching this video have a nice day